I want to show you what else had to be done to get this valve adjustment done. So other than removing the cam cover which mounts with those uh, two bolts, I also had to remove the body panels from the left and right side of the bike. I had to remove that, uh, let me see which side is that, that's the left side, mm, not exactly engine cover but uh, that piece of metal there with that copper electrical windings, everything had to be removed from there. If you do so, you're gonna have some problems. One, it's got oil behind it, I'll show you. And uh, so I'm doing an unplanned oil change with it. When you pull out this half of the cover there, you're gonna pull this axle with it and that shim on it and then this pair of sprockets will drop. That one belongs to the starter motor which is sitting there behind it but this axle will come out and then that sprocket will drop or okay we can call those gears. I was unable to, I had to do this because I was unable to remove that big bolt on the center of this piece there it was just wasn't gonna come out the little one came out but the big one didn't want to and I didn't want to strip it or whatever when you remove this one you see that I tore the gasket there with the uh, power cords there no good so take care of that uh, I tore it because the this clip which was mounted there with that bolt had to be undone first which I didn't know I removed the uh, plastic piece that was covering the sprockets here not necessary this bolt here has a copper washer like so and is longer than the rest of the bolts there's two more other bolts that are longer than the rest this one here is longer which is directly in front of this front sprocket or engine sprocket and the one next to the shifter that one is also a longer one there and when you see these all of them together that's what we're looking at three long bolts and the rest of them are of uniform length and they go to the perimeter all around nicely and before I got to that one I removed yeah this one is for the turn signal in the body panel I also had to remove here the radiator which is on the other side of the bike parking like so in a somewhat contorted position because sorry guys there we go okay so in this somewhat contorted position and I connected it back to the water pump so it's not leaking here left and right and I had to lift the tank off now this is my sunshade I had to lift the tank off which is just pivoting on this uh, lower mount and the upper mount had to be just undone just one bolt uh, you can see body panels missing everywhere and uh, no you can't do the job the valve job from up here because you have a welded in cross brace there on which this stylish wooden stick is also resting holding up the tank and the air filter lives there but that's just uh, a non-interest item uh, this rubber flap was covering these electrical uh, connectors there so that also uh, that, that would be the extent of this valve adjustment job here